Welcome to Modern Gun Dog Training. Throughout this series of programmes, we're going to be exploring the training that goes into these people here, the English Springer Spaniel. They're hardworking, driven, and tremendously loyal. And with the right training, they make fantastic family companions and great friends and a real asset to us in the shooting field. We're going to be starting off with little people like this one here, working right through the stages and ages and ending up with adults like her mother and her father who will be out shooting with in later life. We're going to be visiting lots of shooting estates across Scotland throughout these programmes, but we'll also do a lot of our training on public access ground, which serves to prove that anybody with the time and inclination can find somewhere suitable to train their dog. I'm Joe Hipwell from Sealping Gun Dogs at Riddle Estate in the Scottish Borders. And I train dogs for a living. I learned how to do this from my grandpa, Edward Martin. And I compete with Spaniels and have had quite a bit of success with her mother and some others in field trials and have represented my country at international level. But what I really enjoy is helping people to get the best out of their dogs. That what, that's what gives me the most satisfaction. And I hope that throughout this series of programmes, we'll be able to achieve that together. Water work is some of the most exciting and interesting bits of retrieving we can do with our spaniels. It's great fun and a necessity in the, uh, in the shooting field, particularly here in the borders uh, on most of the shoots that we go to. Um, you know, water retrieves is, is really necessary, whether it's out of a burn, uh, a river, or in a lock or a pond like this. There's often uh, birds or duck and uh, pheasants or duck and things to pick off water. We want them doing it really well. Now, we've got Leo here. He's had a few splashes around. He's been in the burn on a hot day and he actually, has actually swam in a pond on the hot day, but sort of splashing around uh, with the other dogs, just you know, letting them have a bit of fun and, and, a, and a swim. He's never done any formal retrieving lessons from water like this. There are two things that we want to get right with this. Both of them involve exiting the water and the delivery. The first one is we don't want him to shake until he's given us the retrieve. The practical reason for that is because if he's retrieving a bird from water and it's wounded, if he shakes, he's likely to drop it and we can lose it. So we want him to exit the water, put this on our hand before shaking. And the other consideration there is that particularly when we're practicing with these water dummies, they're you know, plasticky and they float, but because of that, they haven't got the same texture. They haven't got that little bit of give like a canvas dummy. And so they fall out of their mouth much easier, particularly when they come out and they're all wet. So we don't want him to drop it and we don't want him to shake. And to, do, to stop those things happening, when he exits the water, I'm going to take a step forward and say, good boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really encourage him back and, and to take it from him. Now we're just going to do it with baby steps. We'll put one just in the edge, good boy, at first. And I've chosen this little bit of water because it slopes away. I can see the bottom here and it slopes away. So actually when he enters the water, he's not going to be swimming straight away. He'll be able to uh, feel the ground, the bottom of his feet and then he'll start swimming. So it's a nice gradual introduction while he's still new and learning this. So I'm literally just going to drop it in the edge. So drop. Leo. Good boy. Good boy. Go on, fetch it, Leo. Leo, 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 here, good boy. Leo, good boy. Good boy, Leo, good lad. Good boy, Was it, Leo, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Leo, Leo, Leo. Good boy. He's a good lad, ain't eh? Good boy. I can see by the way you approach that first retrieve that he's not going to be diving in here full of confidence. It's going to take a little bit of persuasion for him. So I'm just going to throw it just a touch further this time. Good boy. Till we get him confident. Sit up. But that's why it's great having a little slope that he can walk at first. Leo. Good boy. That was better. Good boy. Good boy, Leo. Leo. Good boy, good lad. Come on, pal. Good boy. Good boy. And then the shake afterwards. Good boy, Leo. Leo, come here. Sit up. Sit up. Like anything, if you get these habits right from the word go, it makes life really easy. So the habit here is into my hand and shaking afterwards, which he did there nicely. We, even when we're teaching him, we don't want him to start dropping it or doing it in the wrong order because then we'll have problems to correct. When we don't need to, we can get things right from the word go. So that's just going to go a little bit further. Leo. So we'll actually have to swim a little bit for this one. Good boy, good boy. See, we're an expert in doggy paddle. Good boy, come on. 
Good boy, Leo. Good boy, Leo. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Good boy. Good boy. There's a good lad, eh? Good boy. Good boy, Leo. See, excellent. Look, he's putting it into my hand very nicely, and he's waiting until afterwards until he shakes. Leo, come here, Leo. Okay, today's a big milestone for Shanti. We've brought him out on his first day's rabbiting. Why do we know we're ready for this? Well, he's been in the rabbit pen and he's steady on rabbits in there. He's been in there a few times and I can quite confidently hunt him about in there and he'll flush rabbits and without the stop whistle, he'll stop and watch them away. Doesn't mean he'll do it here because we're out, it's a different situation and everything's different. So he might not be as perfect, but that's fine. That's why I've got Grandpa here to help me today. Grandpa's going to, Shanti, sit up and listen. Grandpa's going to shoot for me today so that I can concentrate on Shanty with his first go out. We also know he's ready to do this because not only is he hopefully steady on rabbits, but he's also well used to the gun and gunshot sit up. Well used to the gun and gunshot going off and that sort of thing. So nothing's going to worry him here, although everything is new and we're kind of piecing together a few different parts of his training into one. Shanty, 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 shanty. Good boy, good lad, eh? Good boy, shanty, shanty. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, shanty. Good boy, oh, shanty, shanty, ah, 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 shanty. Good lad. Good boy, good boy, shanty. Good lad, who's it in, who's it in, good boy, who's it in? Who's it, shanty, good lad, good lad, good lad. Good boy, good boy. Morning. Good lad. There's a good fella. Good fella. Good lad. Shanty. Good boy. In there. Good lad. Who is it? Good man. Come in. Good lad. Shanty. Good boy. Good boy. Shanty. Shanty. Good boy. Who is it? Good lad. Who is it? Good boy. Who is it? Good lad. Good boy. Come on. Shanty. Shanty. Key. Shanty. Come on. Shanty. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Come on. Good man. Good boy, Shanty. Shanty. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good lad. Go on in. Go on, Shanty, good lad. Go on in, good lad. Shanty, Shanty, Shanty. Shanty. Good boy, go on, Shanty, good lad. Shanty, Shanty. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good lad. Good boy, where's it then? Good lad. Good boy, good lad. Go on in, good lad. Shanty. Good boy, here's a good lad, eh? Here's a good boy. Good lad, good boy. Sit up. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, sit up. So he hunted nicely there. You'll see I'm kind of doing him a little bit like a puppy. Lots of quiet talking and encouragement, keeping him where I want him, nice and in, because everything is really exciting for him out here. He did well there, that was nice, and we just had a little practice on the stop whistle. He stopped there, so we're just checking the handbrake. Hopefully that's okay for us. We'll move on and see if we can find him a rabbit in another patch. He still looks nice when he's hunting there, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's okay, isn't he? Yeah, he's just a little apprehensive, as you would expect, going from yeah. uh, the initial work at home to going out in the field. But there's, and there's, there's he's going to look nice when he gets going. There's a few little moments when he relaxes and yeah. properly yeah, curls himself, himself about, about yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's always... Uh, yeah. It's always better if you have someone to shoot for you when you first begin because you can concentrate on the dog then rather than having to worry about yeah. what, what they're doing and uh, that's the best way. And I've got the luxury of the premier rabbit shooter in Scotland <laughs> at my fingertips. <laughs> you will of course find that uh, heel, to heel. the shooting is the best part of the training. But we Good have boy. to get there first. No point in rushing through and making a mess of it.